Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, what we're basically assigning or what the kids are practicing are word problems. And they're going to use or they're being asked, asked to use a, an RDW uh, strategy. R meaning read the question, D meaning draw what you know or what you see or what you need to find out, and then write out a solution. So first things first, so let's do the R. So a bakery buys a five pound bag of sugar she uses one and two thirds pound to make some muffins and two and three fourths pound to make a cake. How much sugar does she have left? So this looks to me like I need to draw my total, my big old uh, bag of sugar here. So here's my bag of sugar. I'm going to put my total down here because it weighs five pounds. So I'm going to log that in. And it looks like I'm, she's using uh, two things. Uh, she's making two things from this bag of sugar and she's going to have something left over. That means I need to split this into three parts. So here's for the uh, muffins here. Muffins is here, and for the cake is here, and this is going to be the leftovers right over here, what's left. She uses one and two-thirds pounds, LB, that's an LB, uh, for the muffins there. She uses two and three-quarter pounds, okay, for the uh, cake, and then this I don't know. So here's the value I don't know. Now here's what I like about the drawing. I have three things that add up to five pounds. If I know two of them, and I'm looking for this third guy here, my best bet is to combine these two and subtract it from that five. Um, and that'll give me what I have left here. So I'm going to write that out. So here's my five, and I'm going to need to subtract the one and two thirds, and I'm going to subtract the two and three quarter. Okay, and ultimately, that will get me the answer I need. All right, so let's start putting things together. I'm going to add these. And now, there are other strategies here. You could have just taken the, you could take the five and then separately subtract this and then subtract that, and you're left with this guy here. But me, personally, I like to combine what I'm going to subtract first and then take that from the whole. Um, I do notice that I have different denominators. So I have different size pieces. I have thirds and I have fourths. I'm going to make twelfths out of these. Okay. There they are. And why is it a 12? Because a 3 times a 4 gives me that 12. Therefore, a 2 times a 4 is going to give me an 8. So these fractions need to be equivalent. So I need to multiply the 2 times the 4 and the 3 times the 4. The 3 times the 4 gives me the 12. And the 2 times the 4 gives me the 8. I know they're equi equivalent because I'm multiplying them by the same value. Okay. Now over here, I have a times 3 over a times 3, because the 4 times the 3 gives me the 12. Therefore, the 3 times the 3, that'll give me 9. Okay? So, so far, I'm in pretty good shape. Now, I'm going to combine these terms here. So, my whole number is a 1 plus a 2 gives me a whole number of 3. And the 8 plus the 9 gives me a 17 over 12. And I'm not going to forget, I'm subtracting all of that from 5. Okay? I do notice I have an improper fraction right here. 17 over 12. So, I'm going to deal with that on the side over here a little bit. So I have 3 and 17 twelfths. I notice that I can pull an entire whole number out of this here. So I'm going to have the 3. I can pull out a whole number, which is 12 over 12 in this case. Okay. And I'm left with, with 5 twelfths. Okay. If I put it all together, I wind up with a whopping 4 and 5 twelfths. All right. So this really equals 4 and 5 twelfths, and from my 5, okay, I can subtract the whole numbers out. I wind up with 1, because 4 from, uh, from 5 gives me 1 and 5 twelfths. Oh, excuse me, four, 1 minus 5 twelfths, and if I take 5 twelfths from one whole, I'm going to turn that one whole into 12 twelfths, so you can see it a little better. Minus the 5 twelfths, that's going to give me 7 Okay, and that's my final answer, but I didn't write it out yet. So, uh, the baker has a total of seven twelfths pounds of, I think it's sugar, sugar, yep, sugar left over. Okay, so that's the deal. I read the question.
I drew out a diagram, and then I wrote out my answer. Okay, and I tried to prove everything I could as I went. There are multiple strategies for, strategies for this, multiple ways to solve this. This is the direction I went in, but as long as you're sticking to the rules and the things that make sense to you, I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll do just fine. Okay? Thanks so much. Take care, gang. Bye-bye.